Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning on to our 5.30 fitness class. We have these fitness classes every Monday through Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. not able to log on to our classes live, don't worry about it. We have all of our classes uploaded to our website at www.mpa-mc.com. So go ahead. Um, if you have any requests or you'd like to do something a little different or you need some fitness uh, bands or any equipment that would maybe help assist you in your uh, fitness needs for these classes, just go ahead and give me a quick uh, email. That's mheaton at mpa-nc.com. Yes, now, without further ado, Milan, go ahead and uh, show everybody how it's done. So, like I promised, um, at the end of last week, I said we will be getting into a, uh, another segment. And just like Maddie said, um, for those of you that have not reached out and gotten your bands, from her, um, wish you guys would have, uh, hopefully you guys reached out, got bands. If you didn't reach out and get bands, then you have bands of your own. But at any rate, we are gonna get started today with bands. Uh, you see my whole little setup over there. Mine's a little bit different from yours. Um, <clears throat> but if you listen to me earlier on, I've talked about it about three or four different times uh, about what setup to get. It's called the gym in a bag. And this is my setup right here, only a portion of it. I'm going to show you guys how to put it on, how it works, and go through that whole gamut for uh, all of my newcomers that didn't see this last season. And I call it season. <laughs> so um, we'll get started with that um, a little bit later on. Uh, we're going to get warmed up today. We're going to do a little bit different warm up, um, something that resembles um, what we're going to be doing today. And uh, we're going to go from there. All right. So get your bands if you have them. Get your mats if you need it, or if you're on carpet, what have you. Get your music if you need it. So this is gonna be a class as well as a uh, tutorial on what we're gonna be doing and moving forward with, okay guys? So a little bit of combination fusion today. So <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this in sight. And I'm going to go over some of the uh, new moves that we're going to be starting with today. Let me pull this in closer. I decided I'm going to get closer to you guys. There we go. There we are. I think that's better. All right. So what we're going to start off with is going to be um, a jumping jack and then into a standing jumping jack, into a squat jumping jack, and then into pop outs. All right. And I'll let you guys do the pop out. Is that wet over there? What is wet? All right there. Ooh, that's, I got something to get that up. I didn't see, and it hasn't rained in here and it hasn't rained, but that's my mat covering up the, uh, the water. Hold on one second. I don't want to bust my head. Luckily I got everything within arm's reach. Sorry about that, guys, but I do not want to be in the middle of this and then get a concussion. You guys got to call 911 via the Zoom. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right. So what we're going to do is first is just a standard jumping jack. Actually, I'll be nice and start off with the sta uh, standing jumping jack. So it resembles a just like you would do a normal jumping jack. However, when we're doing them, one foot is always on the ground. So palms are up. We're gonna go here and we'll start off low. Hey Milan, you froze. Milan, can you hear me? Hey, yes. Oh, sorry, you're, uh, you're just, uh, you're frozen. One sec. Uh, oh, there we go, there you are. Okay, you got me? Yep. All right. All right, so. <clears throat> 
standing jumping, finishing up with our standing jumping jacks. Let's go for 10 again. And 10, nine. And you wanna to try to keep that foot. You, it, it, when you start off, your foot may be going a little bit forward. You wanna to try to keep it right in line with your hip coming straight out as opposed to going forward. So that's staying true, all right? You hear me say that a lot, stay true. So that heel should be in line with the base foot. The foot that's on the ground is always your base foot. So when that foot comes out, try to keep it in line with the other foot, okay? The foot that's on the ground, all right? Your base foot, that's our goal, all right? I know you're gonna to have to look down the first few times, but ultimately you wanna keep your chin up. The foot's not going anywhere, it's gonna stay on the ground. Four, five, six. Now, can you imagine doing this with even lightweight? Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so that's the first one. Now we're gonna go 20 on the regular jumping jack, the standard jumping jack, right? And you don't have to get overzealous and start jumping way out. Keep it in control, you know, just like that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice. For some of us, just that tiny hop is just enough, all right? Now we're gonna do the third one, very similar to the other two that we just did, but this one is gonna be in a squat. So you're gonna start with your feet together, a little closer than shoulders width, okay? Not shoulders width apart, a little bit closer than shoulders width. So you're not gonna come down really deep into this squat like that. It's gonna be kind of shallow, but it's gonna put that little extra oomph that we need in for our warm up and for our, the style of workout that we're transitioning to. All right? So you start off with the squat first. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, try to stay true. Six, seven, it's a little harder with this one. Eight, nine, 10 again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Those let you knows. Woo! All right, so those are our three standing jumping jacks, all right? We're gonna come back to standing in a, <clears throat> in a second. We're gonna pop down to the ground now, and literally when I say pop down, I'm gonna give you two versions of the real, they're called pop outs, all right? But I'm gonna let you have two different versions of them. And I'm gonna be able to do these a little bit closer to you guys for the simple fact is my, the middle of the mat is gonna be my base. Right, so each time I pop out, my feet are gonna step off of the mat. That's how I'm gonna stay true. All right, now, you have one or two versions of this. So you're gonna start with your knees in the middle, here, all right? We're starting here now. If you can't start there, even if they're back there, that's still in the middle, all right? Doesn't matter if they're back further or if they're right up underneath you, as long as they're in between your arms, all right? Now, you can do a step out, which is this, step out, out, in, in, right back to center, and then back out to the other side. Or you can do a pop out, where both feet pop out, both feet pop back in. All right, it takes a little bit more power, a little bit more core, and a little bit more arm strength, but it's only for that split second. You pop out, you rest, you pop back in, you rest, you pop out, you rest, you pop back in, you rest. The rests are very quick, but it still gives you not rest, more of a recovery. All right, so it looks like this. Okay, so you pick your poison, and then at the end, while we're recovering, if you do a step out and you're a little bit behind, don't worry about it because during recovery, we're gonna be waiting for you, and then you'll get a tiny bit shorter recovery just because your workout is a little bit less intense, but you'll still have a chance to recover, all right? On the 30 seconds, you'll probably have 15 seconds as opposed to 30 because you'll probably be working out for the, uh, the other 15. All right? So let's get it. Pop outs. And we're gonna do, I only count the center. So we pop out, center one. Pop out, center two. Pop out, center three. And let's be nice and we'll start with just uh, 
Let's start with an even number. We'll start with 12. All right. I'm popping out starting off to my right, which would be your left. All right. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Ooh. I'm glad I picked 12, that was a perfect number. That's it right there. Now for the second set of 12, I'm gonna do two sets of everything. For the second set of 12, I'm gonna do a step out technique. So check this out, listen to what I'm telling you. The last leg out is the first leg in, right? So the last leg out, which would be, that's the first leg, this is the last leg out. It would tap and then it comes right in, back in. Last leg out is the first leg in. All right, you got it? Five, six, five, six, seven, let's go. Tap, tap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, ah, that's 12. Oh, whoo, that make a brother sit down. Whoo, those are no joke. All right, so 12 and 12, we got our two up rock and we got our one ground effect. I'm talking like a breaker now, like a b-boy. Remember breaking days? That's what you call it. Up rock, that's how you dance up top. And then ground effects is what you can do on the ground. So we got three on the up rock and two on the ground. All right, ground effects. So, <clears throat> and actually in my book, we only have one up rock because that is one movement, versions of it. So with that being said, let's go for another up rock another standing move or a foot or a upright move all right now we've done all of the um lunges and squats so we got to do something active the only thing i can think of that's fun is a skiers um a hopping lunge right so you know we did a skiers lunge that's this now we're gonna take two different movements and add it in. So we're gonna take in, remember the hop and touch? This one? So we're gonna take both of those moves and add them together, right? And they're gonna look like this, right? But what happens is, is your feet aren't gonna switch. So you're gonna go from here. So this is a little bit tricky, a tiny, tiny bit tricky. So the inside foot comes in first. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see that? I'll do it upright. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do two versions that we're gonna do with up rock like this, and then we're gonna do it where we stay in the squat, okay? Ooh, a little slippery on that side. <sighs> All right, so we have our two up rocks. Now we need a second ground effect. And what should that be? We did a pop out. I say that we do either a mountain climber or a pop in. Well, same version, pop outs, but we don't go side to side, we just go in and out. All right, or we could take it to, I want to introduce you guys to these. So we're here, you come here, one, two, three, you can go hand or without hand, four, and we'll do birth versions, all right? So I think we should get into that. Or even if we can't do that, modified version would just be one, two, crossing three, 
four or with your hands down, five. Okay, so let's go with those two, very similar to the pop out and the cross, and then we'll get into some band work, all right? But I think that's a beautiful, beautiful uh, transition from what we were doing still on the BWT. All right, BWT, come on, you guys know what that is. Body weight training, baby. You got this. All right, hydrate, and we're gonna get started. Now we're getting more into some of the bones of body weight training. These are like the real bare bones of body weight training. The moves, the moves that we're doing here with a standing jumping jack and stuff like that, that is real, for real body weight training. So you guys are getting the real bones. All right, march it out. Five, six, seven, standing jumping jack. One, two, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again. Come on. Ten. Ooh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Y'all took my kickboxing classes. You don't understand how many of these you have to do in order to get really strong in, in your kicks. Because people think they can kick. You don't have any idea how long it just takes to hold your leg up and extend. It takes a lot of power. All right. Next, we're going to go with our actual jumping jack, the easiest one, I think. I think the standing ones are harder, to be honest with you. Five. Six, five, six, seven, let's go. 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess the heart rate up, but I love that. I think it's the easiest one to accomplish in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, standing, jumping jack with the squat, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, say true, 3, 2, 1. Ooh. You just did 60 leg lifts with arm flexions. Oh, man. Now I leave my water. I left my main asset. My chapstick is sitting right beside each other on the dining room table. All right, on our 30 second cool down, our 30 second recovery, I'll go get it. That's not for a minute, baby, we got some work to do. All right, so let's get through this whole entire ground set. Oh no, what am I saying? We added on, didn't we? Don't forget. All right, I love it. My blood is really starting to finally flow now. I love it when I can actually feel my chest. I love that. And then it goes away and, you know, it's beautiful. All right. So now we got up top and then down low. Let's go, because we can't go 10 and 10, that's just too little. So let's go uh, 12 and 12. All right, like with the pop outs. All right, you ready? Easy 12 and 12. Up top is easy. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, low, come on. One, stay low, two, two, don't get up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. Nice. Woo. You feel those after a minute. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. Come on down. We're going to come down now. Right here. And we're going to start off. Let's start off with the, uh, with the last one. That's the most recent in your brain, the freshest in your brain. So we'll do both versions of it. We'll do hands down and then hands up. Now, whatever one you find more comfortable and easiest and most accomplishable, what I mean by you almost executing the moves exactly as I'm doing it. So the one that you get closest to, that's the one I want you to do, all right? And then progressively move to the other one. Which one, I don't know, I'm not there with you. So I have to say either one. It's only, luckily it's only two different choices. So either hands down or hands up. All right, whichever one works best for you, go with that one, whichever one it feels the most comfortable where you're not gonna hurt yourself, go with that one. And then progressively as we work over the next three weeks, and we'll go into the, to the next one, all right? All right. Let's go with, I'm gonna start off the first one, first 12 with hands down, all right? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh man, those are no joke. That is a lot of core strength. We're starting to get into, like I said, the bones. We did a lot of the not fluff but base work of uh, body weight training. Simple lunges and things like that, everyday functioning movements. We're not in nowhere near advanced yet, but this is way more than what we were doing, all right? But it's the next progression, so that's where we're at. We were down doing push-ups and pop-out, I mean push-ups and cobras, and this is the next progression from that. That shows me that you guys have the arm strength. All right, now let's go with the um, hands up. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh. That is getting reacclimated and reintroduced to your body if I haven't ever seen it. Woo! Now they have body weight training um, done by um, the Russian circus. I'm dead serious. <clears throat> and their body weight training is where I want to be. Oh man, they do stuff. It's teamed up though. It takes two people to accomplish the majority of the moves. Um, so you need somebody as, as insane as yourself. <laughs> but um, if you guys ever have any time, look that up. It's really, really fun to watch. It's done with two people, makes big old room, with sets of two, and they're doing these crazy, start off with like rollovers and then hold each other, and one person does a standing, it just is crazy stuff. I would love to do it, so it looks like crazy fun. All right, next is the actual pop out. All right, 12 on the center. Don't count the outside, count with me, and let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, 10 seconds recovery, more like 15, and then we'll start the step out. The step out is, I don't know, I would say it's equal for the simple fact is that it takes twice as long, so you're using your arms longer. And because you're stepping out with both feet, even though you're popping both feet in and out, when you lift, you're getting a little bit of momentum to assist you. With this, you get no assist at all. 
So that's why you feel it so much more in your core when you do the step out as opposed to the pop out. Now you do twice as many pop outs and you're gonna get a faster result. That's the only difference. All right, and sliders are now just added, you know, maybe 15 to 20, maybe even 30% even faster uh, results if we were doing this with sliders. All right, so just think about that. When we get to sliders, all right, these are all the things that you, I give you so you never plateau. You ready? Let's step it out. Last one out is the first one in. Two, three, and drop that pelvis when you get there. Drop it, four. Don't cheat yourself, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep those hands stationary. 10, 11, that's 12, woo, woo, that kicks your butt, you got 45 seconds recovery, and I'm going to go get my water while you guys catch your breath. And you look like All right. Woo. All right, my beet juice. You know how I do it. Beet juice, baby. All right, now, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys probably, you know what, I'm gonna, the last 10 minutes, I'm gonna introduce the bands because I, I promised you another uh, system of body weight training and I think I'm more than delivered with this system. Yeah, it's only three or four right now, but you know me, I'm gonna add on. Week's going down the road, I gotta get you guys up to speed, right? So we're gonna go through the system Let's try to go through, uh, let's say, two more times, and then we'll um, get into some band work, all right? Get you down, down, down. Woo! All right. Turn this up a little bit. You know, I love my third set. Three is the magic number for me. That means that you've learned everything, you know the moves. All right, now it's time to pull it all together. They say three strikes you're out. I think three strikes you're in. That's my theory. All right, come on. Get your mind right. Because on four, I'm gonna mix it up. Five. Six, five, six, seven, let's go. One, two, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let me have some um. Eight, stay true. Nine, ten, ten again, ten. Nine, eight, seven. Get that leg up there. Six, ah, five, four, three, two, one. The hard part, see for me, I make sure I have a lot of control with that leg coming down because that's where everybody wants to let the leg slip. Um, bye bye. Fly freely. Nope. You want to stay in control. And you'll learn that with martial arts. Just the kicks, being able to keep that leg in control. But if you have to stop and make kick and switch or do anything else, you're not used to having that power being able to stop that and even slow that momentum down, you know? Critical things, woo. All right, second part. Straight jumping jack and five, six, seven, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful, ten seconds recovery. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. With the squat and the uh, and the and the uh, jumping jack, let's get it. Come on down. Twenty. Nineteen. I know this is the hard part. Come on, love it though. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. I gotta clean it up. Clean it up. Seven. Clean it up. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! So total so far, you've done 180 leg lifts. Yeah. Did you even want to know that? In five, four, three, two, one. Up top, let's go. One. Give me a little bit of space. Three, four, five, six, seven on beat. Eight, nine, ten, one, twenty each. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, low. One, two, three, don't come up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again. Come on. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yeah. Nice work. Making me go into dance mode on those moves right there. All right. And five, four, three, two, one, with hands. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Woo! Can somebody say burners? Can somebody say burner? Somebody say burners. And 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, hands up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh man. We're gonna stretch so good, because those make me feel like I need to stretch, right? And five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna step out or pop out first. Let's pop out, and let's go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, baby. Ten, nine, you got step outs next. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Drop that pelvis. Six, ah. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. 30 seconds recovery, and we're going to mix it up on number four. Woo! Got myself hot. Woo! Can't believe it. 
Open up this other vent. Fifteen seconds. And ten. All right. So number four, let's mix it up. Woo! I'm gonna go somewhere in between here. Right there, should cut it. Yeah, baby. Woo! All right. Five, six, five, six, five, six, seven. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Woo, burners. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Hands up, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, yeah, 10, 9, back on your feet, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, Woo. two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Low. One. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again. Stay low. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up top, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yeah, that's how you do it, uh-huh, mixed up, and five, four, three, two, one, pop out for 12, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Get that leg up there. Seven, six, five, four, five, three, two, one. Ow! Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. 
Woo. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, man. Bring it up. I don't know if you've seen what I did here. I make the easy start off the hardest to the easiest, and the ground start off the easiest to the hardest. See what I did there? And five, four, three, two, 20 on a jumping jack. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. We got step outs to finish up on the ground. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, whoo, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. That's how it's done, guys. Seriously, that's how it's done. Whew. Man. Whew. I feel that everywhere, everywhere, chest, arms, shoulders, back, abs, lower back, obliques, hamstrings, glutes, quads, calves, seriously, everything. Woo. All right. I haven't went that hard in a while, guys. I love it. Nice to see I still got it. All right, so I'm going to grab the stool here. I'm going to strap up. And then... If you have your bands, then go ahead and grab your bands. I'm gonna show you how mine work a little bit different than yours. You will be standing on yours if you don't have straps like this. So around the ankle, they go just like that, wrap Velcro, and you got the um, clips in the front and you can spin them around to the back if you need to. Majority of the times we're using them in the back, but I'm gonna use them in the front just to show you guys some quick curls. All right, like I said, if you don't have these, like I had you guys order them months ago, but if we haven't gotten them yet and you do have the bands and you're at home, you're still gonna be included because I'm gonna show you how to do this with just standing on them simply. All right, these just to work a little bit better for me um, because I work out so often. And I want something that's pretty sturdy, as opposed to me just standing on make a slip from underneath my foot. But they're not gonna slip when they're clipped. All right, so I clip them and just let them dangle because from there, we have these bad boys. All right, so let's get the stool out of the way. You see how long that took? Literally less than a minute. And that was from scratch. That's not even with me interchanging. So. You can see there, I just click here. And again, if you were doing this, you would just be standing on your band. No difference. All right, so you would just be standing on it right at this point. All right, and you would have your resistance. And we would just start off with our curls. All right, so this is why I want you guys to get caught up on your bands. Reach out to Maddie, reach out to um, Jasmine, 
and let them know that, hey, it's time for me to get my bands so they can rush those out to you guys by the end of uh, this week. And we'll be ready to go by next week because I really want to get started on the bands, but I want everybody to be included. I don't want to leave anybody behind. So um, really make sure that we get these bands going. So, but those of us that do have the bands, and let me show you what the band looks like that Maddie and Jasmine is going to send out to you. It is going to look like this. And this one's a big one. Theirs are going to be significantly smaller, but it's the same premise. And if you order some online and you get some things that show up like this, you're in business. But the ones we're going to have send you are going to be about this long, minus the end. So let me just. They'll be about this, but they can stretch. You know, you can still stand on them. So you'll be able to stand on it and still do the curls. Okay, same premise. All right. So I just want to let you guys know that if you have these at home right now, go ahead and grab them. They are useful. You're going to use them right now. All right. So the next segment from our body weight training, the next thing is, is our band training and light band training. You know, I have all these hangers. You can't see them right now, but I have these hooks and they're all drilled into the wall in cement. And I mean, we can go bananas in here, TRX, and we can do all that kind of stuff. But for now, because I am going to get to that with you guys, but for now, um, we're going to be doing the, um, the stuff that we can stand on. And if you have bought these straps, like I've said, then you'll, you'll be able to do this as well, all right? And then this also comes with a, um, a waist belt, right? With the, with the clips as well. So you can strap yourself self to things and do back and forward lunges. Um, you can strap yourself to the back of this and do squats for power squats. I mean, this thing is pretty awesome. All right, guys. And then I have the um, total um, gym that's portable right there. I mean, I got, man, there's so many things I can show you guys. All right. So with this being, this being right here, you're standing on your, on your band right now. We're just going to go for some doubles and some single curls, all right? So let's go for the double. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Love it. Now let's go for the single. All right. Singles, just like that. We'll start off with the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Beautiful. Other side. Flip forward. All right. And twelve, eleven, ten. Keep that elbow stationary. Seven, six, five, four, three. And come all the way down to not right here. All the way down. We want a long lean muscle all right the more you short stop the muscle the more the muscle is not going to be long and lean all right <clears throat> we're not bodybuilders here we're average people and we do want to be in shape we do want to be cut up we do want to look good but at the same time we want it to be realistic you don't want to you know have a bodybuilder's arm so you want a long it's called a filament muscle so you what you want to do is you want to go all the way up and all the way down not even necessarily all the way up but all the way down all right because when you the muscle once you get about here, the muscle, you're working another set of muscles now, right? This, the muscle here now is deactivated, you're working another set of muscles. So you want to stay right here for the flexion of the bicep, all right? So if you come all the way down and just past 90 degrees, this would be 90 degrees. So just past 90 degrees and right back down is where you want to be ideally. That way you stay engaged, the muscle stays engaged, all right? So let's go for that the same exact thing again, double and a single. And then we'll try to get onto some, maybe some shoulder presses or some flies. All right. So let's go for it. I'm going to go, um, let's see, what am I going to do this time? I think I'm going to turn out. So with my, see how the clips are inside right now? I could simply just turn them out and save time, or I could unclip them and turn them out. So I'm going to do turnouts this time. 
which when I did the turn in, we were working the outside of the bicep, which is ironic enough, all right? Right, with, the, with, you, with you being with your hand inside like this, you're working that outside of your bicep, okay? Now with your arm turned out, you're working the inside of the bicep, all right? So we're gonna do devils on the inside, arms turned out. So almost like you're pushing that baby finger up, all right? Think on that premise, all right? Feet are together, all right, and let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Ooh, those burn turnouts. Burn. That's the weakest part of the biceps, the inside for most of us. I know for me it is. That's why guys are always doing these so they can get that inside and that forearm developed. All right, now singles are that same thing. I like to brace my arm here. Even if you kind of bend a little bit, no big deal. I like to try to stay upright. And then that's about the, as far as my, I want my arm to extend. And then come on up to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, ah, one, that burns. These are 40 pound resistance. Woo, that burns for real. All right, turn out, get that arm, that elbow nice and braced, nice and forward, arm fully extended, and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Ironically, ah, that one doesn't burn as much as the strong arm, which is odd. All right. Now, let's see what we got on the clock at the stretch time. All right. So we're going to pull it at that. That was a nice introduction to bands. All right. And um, different style of bands. So if you got these, no big deal. If you don't, um, you can order them later or you can just reach out to Maddie or you can reach out to Jasmine and they'll rush those right over to you guys, all right? That way, if you did order them and they're coming later, they can get these to you ASAP, but they're in the right, within the same county, all right? So let's do that. All right, now let's bring it on to our stretch. We kicked some booty today and you've worked those abs, so we're gonna get into a few things that actually stretch the abs as well, all right? So set those things aside, make some room for your sail. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come straight into Cobra, all right? So we're gonna walk out and we're gonna do a full extension Cobra. So lie those feet down behind you. This foot should be flat, laces towards the ground, all right? And take a deep cleansing breath in. And as you exhale, drop your pelvis and push your chin to the sky. And if you wanna turn those hands out like a walrus, it's okay by me. And I want you to just slowly sink. Keep that head up, don't drop your head. Slowly sink, dropping that pelvis if you can. Literally try to get your waistline down on the ground. And once you get to your full range of motion, hold that range of motion for 10, nine. And then now you can go ahead and drop your head, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh man, and slowly come back. And once we get right at the hydrant position, once to take a deep breath in, draw that spine in, and round that back into cat, and keep that cat, exhale, but keep your back pushed to the ceiling. Come bringing your glutes down to your calves. Ooh, you feel that stretch? Yeah. Walk those hands forward. Nice. And let the head fall heavy. Put the forearms on the ground and relax the shoulders. Oh, isn't that great? 
and gently move back and forth, swaying your body back and forth, releasing the ball joint of your shoulder. Not a big movement, small movement, just left to right, back and forth, just like me. All right. And bring your body forward, bringing those shoulders right back into the ball joint. Drop that temple down, those heads are back, and those hands come around to your side. Shoulders by knees, and relax. Breathe through, oh, all that pressure on your lower back. Nice. And bring the right hand forward first, then the left hand, and then take a deep breath in, drawing the spine around the back, Bury the chin into the chest and come up, 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 into cat, cat, high, high, high. And exhale, drop the pelvis into down. All right. Nice. Bring that right leg up. Deep cleansing breath in. And exhale down, both hands inside. Take that outside elbow and bring it to the ground. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up. And switch. Deep cleansing breath in. And exhale down. Outside elbow to the ground. And hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and up, leg back. Beautiful set, guys. I mean, you did really, really well on part two of bodyweight training. I'll see you back here manana for full yoga set. Yeah, baby. All right, guys.